Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog from Ling Ling Life. Today is Chinese New Year! It's uh, January 27 and uh, everything is closed everywhere. The IEs gave us free dumplings from the canteen today and we have been out buying... We found one shop that was open and we went buying a Chinese... Uh, I don't know what's called, lucky paper cut thing? Thing? This one! So I'm gonna put that on the door before I'm leaving for Hangzhou in the afternoon. Already prepared my stuff here. Yes, it looks like an insane mess, but that's just how I live my life in general. <laughs> so I just prepared, put some tape on it and I'm gonna put it like this. So cute! Yay! Xin kuai le. Oh my god, so cute! Just arrived in Hangzhou airport. Uh, I didn't film anything because it's evening and everything is black outside. So sorry for that, but I'm gonna take a bus into Hangzhou town now and it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. so wish me luck on that one. Luckily the buses are still running even though it's Chinese New Year's Eve. There are actually quite a lot of people here. Um, but yeah, I got my ticket, 20 quai, and I'm gonna stand here in the line and wait for the bus to come. Just walked from the airport shuttle bus to the local bus and the Chinese New Year Eve show is on. Just waiting for the bus to drive. Looks like my hostel is in the middle of a forest. I'm a little excited <laughs> and a little nervous. I really hope that I can find it. It has gone all well until now, so we will see, but yeah, cross your fingers for me. Good morning, good morning guys. This is um, the first day in Hangzhou and I'm just getting some breakfast from the hostel and then I'll go and meet one of you guys and then I'll go to my friend's place. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just checked out my hostel. Got my bag on the front. My backpack on the back. And now I'm walking down towards the local bus so we can go and find a um, train to take me to this other little town. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Just sitting here in the train station, just bought a ticket. Uh, just sitting here listening to the dude over here who is talking really, really loud to his family members. <laughs> uh, now he's hanging up and then he's gonna call the next one and wishing them Happy New Year and talk to them. And he's not talking, he's screaming. Oh, now his phone is already ringing again. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no privacy in China, we're just sharing everything here. Just got off the train now, it went really well. Um, I just, when I got on the train, I realized that I forgot my iPad in the plane yesterday and uh, of course it's gone, nobody can find it. Through the China Eastern Airlines for not helping me at all. It was last evening, they should be able to find it. And it has a password, again, they should be able to find it. Yeah, just saying guys, China Eastern Airlines, don't go there. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know if it's common. I've never lost anything before, so anyways, I will go and find my friend now and uh, and see what we're gonna do. <laughs> Nothing planned, just excited to see what's coming up next. 
。没给你看啊。现在干嘛？在切这里。Oh. Because it's really sticky. Right. Uh, so it's really hard to use. Wait. This is all I am just with my friend and her family out visiting a family friend in this little really cute area called Verona Village something. It's so nice. And by the way guys, I had to get rid of my Canada Goose jacket because it was freaking hot I was burning so now I'm just wearing this one and it's so nice outside it's really really great here we got mountains we got blue sky we got big European villas with a little twist of Chinese uh, war <laughs> it's really funny uh, I'm gonna show you guys around So this little village, village Xiaoqiu, is a little bit outside of the town called Zhuji here in Zhejiang province. Zhejiang is uh, one of the richest provinces in China um, and uh, they did a lot of investment in uh, real estate so of course there are a lot of empty buildings here. Uh, so we're just walking around checking out one of the houses and I asked for fun how much it would be if I wanted to live here. Uh, we're gonna meet the investor very soon so I'm probably gonna ask him. Me and my friend are still in this little uh, Xiaoqiu or village. Can I call it a village? Yes. Yes. So in this little very rich village and uh, there are some model houses here, assemble houses and <laughs> decorated this little room. And apparently if you have a, a child here, it might turn more blonde. I don't know, but <laughs> this is the assemble room. <laughs> It's very beautiful though. We saw an eye, she was just cleaning and we asked if we could come in and see, she said yes. So this is the room, so nice. <laughs> we like, we went to this house because it's kind of more traditional Chinese. You can see around the window here. Um, the one we looked, we looked through the windows, another one and that was like super Western. This has a few more Chinese pots, you might say. Look down here as well. So nice. So we're still inside the house here and I told my friend that I wouldn't mind um, you know, filming a few videos from here because it's so beautiful. It's really, really cool. It's really cool because when I go traveling, I always see those, you know, temples and historic places. But this is also a part of China. This is a part of a lot of, you know, rich people's uh, lives here in China. So it's really interesting to also see this part because I don't have the chance, the chance to do that on my own. But now, because my friend, she brought me here, I now get to see another side of China again, if that makes sense. I always go to the small villages, but you know, I should open my mind and explore even more. By the way, have you seen my cover? <laughs> So we just uh, finished dinner, everyone together, friends and family gathered here on the first day of the Chinese New Year and now I got a big cup of 
green tea and we're watching some TV in the living room, everyone together. It's really nice, the people here are so, so friendly. So, so friendly. Um, it's actually, it's basically just, I feel like I'm a part of the family. Yeah, I would wish my friend she had a brother <laughs> I could marry or something. This family is so comfortable to hang out with and they're talking to me and they're using, you know, their Putonghua even though we are in Zhejiang, um, so that's just amazing. I think it's also a good thing that my friend's mom is from Dongbei, so she doesn't really understand the accent here either. Um, so yeah, they try their best to speak more clearly for us, which is great. Uh, just having a really great evening here, guys. Um, thank you for watching today's little video here, or yesterday and today together. Um, this little video, I'm gonna come back to you tomorrow with another video. Anyways, have a nice evening wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you again soon. See ya, and bye-bye. Thank you.